Maine Coon cats like water more than other kinds of cats. She's always sitting on the edge, playing with the water dripping down. Or We found she really likes water that way. The first time she ever went swimming was in a glacier lake out in Montana. It was very hot. We put her in a lake in very shallow water to see if she would enjoy it. She just was happily paddling around. And so from then on, we started once in a while having her in the water, but only in very calm areas. We just found that she really is very interested. So whether it's paddling herself or being in a kayak or being on a, our shoulders when we're swimming, she's enjoying just being in the water and in the different sensations that are there. She really likes boating with us. I think she really likes the movement of the boat and feeling very calm being with us in a specific space and being able to see all around the different things that are happening. Her second favorite activity, you know, when she gets tired, she just sits and then she gets picked up and we put her in the backpack and we have a backpack that opens both on the top and in the front. And so she just relaxes there with her paws like this and looks around. We adopted Bowza six years ago, and when we first got her, she was shelter cat, very anxious, very scared. She would always hide in the basement and never come out. She would over groom a lot and had a lot of health problems. And so with time, we figured out what are the kinds of things that she likes to do the most and the kind of places she really enjoys. And then one day she just started walking straight and took off and took us on our first walk. And then every day when we were doing that, she would start to walk in circles further and further away from the campground. She's the boss of how far she walks, but we're the boss of the direction. And so she just loves climbing around and exploring things. She enjoys smelling a lot of things. So she'll stop and sniff and smell. Before she was very anxious and always over grooming. Now that we've started walking every day, she's just a much calmer cat in general and relaxed. And I think it's because when we're out walking, her mind is learning new things and she's curious and she's exploring. And we know that humans need to learn and see lots of different things for intellectual stimulation. And I think cats also need intellectual stimulation. Exploring new places has really made her a much happier, healthier cat. And from what I've seen, a lot of cats actually really enjoy getting to explore the world. So she's really good at, at climbing. We pack her into the car, we drive to a hike, and we hike about two-ish hours every day in the mountains or in the desert or in the forest and she just runs up the trail with us. The most amazing thing is to see that a cat is so calm and so happy and so relaxed. That to me is the best reward to see she's having such a happy, relaxed life compared to what she had before. What we might admire the most about Bowza is how courageous she is. So she's had a big impact on our life too because we've seen the transition that our cat had. It inspired both of us to try things that we were afraid of doing before because we saw that she was afraid of something, tried it and loved it. And I have gotten a lot more confident as a result of being inspired by our cat who's so courageous and always doing things that she's scared of.